So me and my fiance, we are getting married, right? And to be a part of our wedding, you have to pay $450 for a ticket. And that's for each guest. So we invited friends and family to our wedding. Tell me why everybody that we invited has declined the invitation. We already have spent 100, maybe almost close to $200,000 on the wedding. Now, this is the thing that kills me. I know, I know his wife or fiance had to be crushed. No, well, yeah, but, but, but did she think it for herself? Did she agree? Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, I want to know. Nope, she I want to know. It, did, did she think it? Though? She nope. She no, was going no off. Hell. She was letting uh, Rayvon make the decision, <laughs> and he listening to him. Now none of her family showed up. So guess what? So we got a guy who's charging his guests four hundred and fifty dollars to attend his wedding. Come on now. I done paid thirty thousand. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> Who told him to pay that money? Hey, hey, oh, hey, yeah. hey. I want to see this video because I ain't see the Mr. whole thing. Podcast. Let's go. All right, TikTok. Tell me if I'm tripping or not. So, me and my fiance, we are getting married, right? And to be a part of our wedding, you have to pay four hundred and fifty dollars for a ticket, and that's for each guest. So, we invited friends and family to our wedding. Tell me why everybody that we invited has declined the invitation. We already have spent 100, maybe almost close to $200,000 on the wedding. We have already pre-ordered the cake. We already put down a deposit for the venue. Um, we've already got the wedding dress, everything. We pay for everything for the wedding. DJ, photographer, everything for the wedding. And what I don't understand is, is that y'all spend 400, more money, more money on stupid stuff, but you can't come out to support your family and your friends at a wedding. Like, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell it like, is we wrong? We like, 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 let me know. Let me know. Because y'all pay for tickets. Beyonce tickets, a thousand dollar tickets. Y'all going to go meet Chris Brown for a thousand something dollars. But when it comes to your friends and your family, you can't pay the ticket. Like these weddings ain't cheap. Like we like the weddings ain't cheap. Like, like, like what's going on? Like, I don't get it. Like, let us know. Are we wrong for charging for a wedding? Like, I really, really want to know. Why did you say right. that much? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on now. Yo, he cannot be serious. First of he, all, he, he, he did like not he charge 450 bucks per person. Man, why you spend almost 200000 on a wedding, though? Listen, that's that's just who flexing. is the, who is it. the wedding for? Is for is it for you and your fiance or for just for show? Because that's what I want to know. Yeah, you listen, <laughs> on your wedding, you can spend however much you want. I don't give a damn. But what you not going to do <laughs> is tell me what I got to pay. Right. Now, again, I do understand. See, this is this is where people need to have self-awareness. If you know you mm -hmm. hang out with or you've been born into Money. a circle full of people who broke as hell or cheap as hell, guess what you do? You have the wedding that you want and you take your fiance, your soon to be bride, Y'all go to wherever y'all want, and y'all have y'all nuptials there. there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ask them people who ain't who ain't <laughs> because who ain't got no money. You yeah. know what? At the at the end of the day, nine times out of, times out of ten, and this is the sad part from a female's perspective. Perspective, not speaking for me, but what I've seen is is a lot of times when people go to these weddings, yeah. they only go just so they can see what's going on and have something to talk about. It's like, okay, here you are. You want to nitpick at everything, the person's dress, and you know this and the and the decor and all that but wait a minute you ain't even married so how the hell you want to sit here and and judge my wedding my dress my husband and all this other stuff and you not even married but uh, once again like i said is the wedding for you and your fiance or is it for the people it's for, for, show? It's for it, well you know see normally everybody we always go to the comment after we read the video but we can't go to the comments because he turned the comments off now, oh, wow. <laughs> he knew. Now, I'm going to tell you, hold on. Hold on. When I first saw it, when I first peeped the video, I'm reading the comments. I'm like, oh, man, I need some popcorn. Because wow. they was going ham on them. I bet. They was going. So when when, when I research these videos, I, be, I, I always like to uh, search for the ones that seems real. You know what I mean? Not the yeah, the trolling ones, the, the trolling or the or the phony ones. When I first, I said, "Yo, this video can't be real." But then, Ain't no way when you, know you turn the comments off, oh, then you know that shit is real. Yeah. 
Again, homeboy was he was he was real with it. He got his answer. Listen. Yes, you're wrong for charging people four hundred and fifty dollars for your for your for your wedding. Beyonce and Chris Brown and all that. That's a totally different venue. They are famous people. People are paying for you know for the specialty. Your wedding mm-hmm. is not a specialty. You want people to come to your wedding for support. You don't charge nobody four hundred fifty dollars for no daggone wedding. So my thing is is like okay, look, you gonna charge. The four hundred fifty dollars for a wedding, or do you want the gift? Which, which one or the other? Listen, like like the like uh, one of our supporters in the tra- in the chat, like Leia says, seems like you thought it all through, but you didn't think it all through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were trying to be big slick. up, Leia. Big you, up, Leia. Right, facts. <laughs> you was trying to be slick because again, just like just like uh, T said. If I pay four hundred fifty dollars to show up to your wedding, which is cool, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, cool. If I if I have the money to do it, I definitely will. But guess what? <laughs> Don't look for me to bring a car, <laughs> a gift. I'm not yeah, bringing you ain't, that. You ain't pins. bringing nothing up. I ain't bringing a guy. Look, not even a plus one. I'm coming with my hands like this, <laughs> so you know for a fact. Oh, CJ, bring me a damn thing. You're goddamn right. <laughs> not I brought not this four hundred dollars. It's just me. Yeah, no right. plus ones. Yeah. No, no plus no, ones. No, no, I'm bringing a plus one. Oh, and you bet up for four hundred fifty dollars? No, oh, no, 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 no. It was per person. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, bro, you talking nine hundred? That nine hundred bones. So for four hundred fifty dollars, guess what? I'm number one. I'm coming because the ceremony is only thirty minutes long. So I'm only going to hit about fifteen minutes of that. And and I don't. I'm I'm not drinking right now. But on that wedding, huh, it, it better be open bar. Right. Here. If I got to For pull out a dime, <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> you gonna get 15 minutes of my time for my 400. dollars Yeah. Trip. Listen, I know, I know that that wedding was empty. No. Nope. Now, now, hold Look, now. That, but first of all, now, I don't think they got married yet. Yeah. Now, this is the thing that kills me. I know, I know, his wife or fiance had to be crushed. No, but, yeah, but, but, but did she think it for herself? Did she agree? Did she agree? Yeah, no, yeah, she did. I want to know. Nope, she I want to know. It, did, did she think it though? She nope. She no, was ain't going no off. Hell. She was letting uh, Rayvon make the decision, <laughs> and he listening to him. Now none of her family showed up. So guess what? On his wet night. She was pissed. He probably didn't get. He probably ain't gonna get no yams. Exactly. <laughs> no, yeah, you no said damage. That, you said that the uh, because at the, the end of the day, this empty. is the beginning of bad decision the, the making in their go, wedding. In yeah. their the marriage, venue ain't gonna be empty. It's gonna be them, the preacher, and all the helping people. All the people that's like in the <laughs> that's in the uh, uh, venue that's helping out. All so that food. They the ways. ones that's gonna be drunk. All <laughs> that food. Be else here. <laughs> Tripping. Yeah. Man, that's I the know. beginning of bad decision making in that marriage. Son, oh my lord, have mercy. Yeah, this joint podcast, man. Make sure you drop yeah. a comment, drop a like, yes sir, and subscribe. Tell us Tell what us you what think. You got-